Bienvenido a uno de los vídeos posiblemente más esperados y es preguntando a programadores cuánto dinero hacen. Vais a alucinar que es una completa locura. How much money do you make as a developer? Um, ooh, uh, I mean, yeah, I make around. I would say my first job, my salary was the day me and my friend are at GraphQL Summit asking these developers how much money they make, and wait till you get the end because the numbers get crazy. I make six figures, and that's as a SE one, so that's like entry level software engineer, and I have great benefits. So we're here with Ben. If you're comfortable sharing, how much do you make as a developer now? I'll give you a range, boys. I'm not gonna give you it all. Uh, 100 to 110. So I got an internship actually in college. I should say that that's a major key. You get at least like a three month internship. That'll negate any sort of experience because then, like, you've gone through the process at that point. You know, you've gone through the software development life cycle. Once you've done that, most jobs are like, all right, you're good to go. My name is Camille. Uh, I'm. 20 Eso está también bien remarcarlo. No dejes llevar simplemente por los precios que dicen que son bastante alto, todo el mundo empieza desde abajo, desde internship, prácticas, becario y poco a poco va a ir escalando. And how did you go about getting your first job? Uf, I applied to probably 200 companies. Que no os sorprendáis que literalmente eh, yo he encontrado trabajo hace nada de becario, me pagan bastante por debajo de un sueldo normal de programador y para encontrar eso posiblemente he tenido que aplicar unas mil compañías sin ningún tipo de duda porque llevaba desde enero de principios de año aplicando a una media de eh, entre 5 y 10 compañías eh, o ofertas de trabajo al día. Maybe like 10 people will be like, hey, never forget that people want to refer you because they get referral bonuses. You don't mind sharing, how much did you make at your first developer job? Yongchun. Uh, so my first job, my salary was 110. I had a 15K signing bonus. Amazing. And my equity was... You got equity as well? Um, wow, equity. that's awesome. Yeah. Well, Peloton stock, it used to be worth a lot more. <laughs> We've had an amazing time meeting people. One piece of advice. If you thought $125,000 is a lot, then you'll be surprised to see what some of these developers are getting paid at the biggest companies. The thing is, developers are often shy about their salaries. How much money do you make as a software engineer? Uh, I will not reveal that. I'm not comfortable sharing that. Uh, I don't want to answer that. Uh, no, I can't do that. Sorry. No worries. Will we find people willing to share? No entiendo por qué no no quieren decir su salario. Así, yo creo que no es nada malo. Mm, es un número sin más. La cifra que te pagan sea menor o mayor. Es lo que ganas. No tienes que ni avergonzarte ni tampoco presumir de ello. Simplemente es un hecho, una realidad. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Mark. What's it like working at Netflix? Ooh, uh, en Netflix I mean, tienen que pagar. Uh, it's fun. Uh, it's a big company, but you get a lot of freedom. I've talked to people and they're like, hey, even over sometimes a senior developer, they'd prefer somebody who's maybe junior and but is like really hungry but they don't have the craziest amount of experience is it possible they could work at a company like netflix I'm, i mean i think it's possible i think it depends like keep focusing on your skills skills are really truly what matters trying to show your skills through other means because clearly you don't have like experience so yeah. understanding what you use so we often use like frameworks and libraries actually reading a lot of code digging into those libraries i think is super important so if you're comfortable sharing how much do you make as a software developer Ooh, i don't think i'm comfortable sharing got it well thank you so much mark appreciate it now that was unfortunate vale no ha querido decir el salario pero por lo menos ha dado esperanza de que gente que quiera trabajar de, en Netflix como Junior, que, que es posible hacerlo a pesar de que sea una empresa súper grande y que lo que tienes que hacer es focusearte en tus skills, aprender mucho código, leer y tal. I'm here with Dalvin. So my advice for somebody who wants to get into tech for the first time would be start trying to learn on YouTube. You don't have to go to a boot camp or pay money if you don't want to. Start creating projects that you're interested in doing stuff that you like. If I'm into sneakers, I'm going to try to make the Nike app again and put it on my portfolio and resume. Are you willing to say how much you make right now? Yeah, so currently I make 146. Damn, that is amazing. It's basically fake until you make it. 
Yeah. That's like my best advice. So I'm here with Trent. I guess like tell us about yourself. Like what do you do? Sure. I'm a full stack engineer at Glassdoor. Um, I've been doing this for about seven years now and I actually in college I was a pre-med major and switched to this last minute. Wow. Um, and it turned out to be a pretty good decision. I never would have thought I would be here at a tech conference and here I am. Do you want to share like how much you made at your first CS job? <laughs> sure. I made uh, it was 70 grand. 70 grand? In Chicago. In yeah. Chicago. And then how about now? Do you want to give a range of like how much you make? I think I make 180 grand now after six, seven years. So. Congratulations. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Which is nothing for, you know, California, but Chicago. The cost of living, the yeah. cost of living in California. I'm here with Alex, guys. So I'm a DJ, right? <laughs> I need it. Bastante diferencia entre el primer salario y el segundo, literalmente. Más del doble. Una locura. Pero al final es que para encontrar el primer trabajo casi que tienes que coger, o al menos así lo pienso yo, la primera oportunidad que se te venga. Y una vez que ya estás dentro del mercado laboral y vayas cogiendo experiencia, poco a poco vas te va a ser mucho más fácil escalar y encontrar trabajo y que esos sueldos sean mucho más acorde con, con lo que tú aportas de valor en la empresa. Así que, congratulations. How much money do you make as a software developer? 2013, I started 40 grand. After a year there, they bumped me to 75. By the end of 2018, I was the lead dev for 130. And then I'm in that like range, like 200 ish. Yeah. That is amazing, man. I, I would say, so I've hired a lot of junior devs. If you're like totally fresh, you're probably looking in the 60, 70 range, which I think is still really good these days. If you thought $200,000 was a lot, these next two developers are paid crazy. All right, so I'm here with Anthony. Tell us about yourself. Went to college for Sabiana. computer science, ended up dropping out and just going self-learning route. Anyone can get into this career path. It's not like for intelligent people. I've seen people who have worked Worked their whole lives in like the service industry, go into like a, a boot camp or go into like a self-learning path and come out making two to three times the amount of money that they were and being two to three times happier in their role. It's for everyone. But I, I ended up getting a job as a junior web developer and then from there just improving my skills and I made 17 an hour. It was like 30,000 a year. Amazing. And if you don't mind sharing like a range of how much do you make now? Yeah, I make around 250,000 a year. Amazing. Yeah. Congrats. Se viene el programador mejor pagado del mundo. What's up guys? I'm here with Matthew. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a developer at Credit Karma. I have been for um, the past four-ish years, since four like years. 2018. Right, we have a lot of developers. When they look at the job posting, it says like, hey, we need like one year, to five years of experience, uh, right? So like, how would you be your advice for that? Even if it doesn't, um, if I don't have the years of experience, if I don't meet every single qualification, I would say go for it. Um, like the worst that can happen is they say no. Awesome, okay, and when you got your first Sí, que la gente, que de hecho pasa mucho en el, en el mercado laboral, te piden un, bueno, una posición de junior y, y a la misma vez en los requisitos 3 o 4 o 5 años de experiencia, que es un poco contradictorio porque el junior es una persona que no tiene experiencia o que como mucho tiene un año de experiencia. Pero bueno, yo he hecho lo mismo que él, he aplicado de todas formas, si el trabajo me gusta, aplico. Y si no me cogen... Pues ya está, se ha intentado, pero no decirte tú mismo que no de primera, sino que te lo tenga que decir otro. Pero tú siempre cree en ti, cree en tus habilidades, cree que eres capaz, lucha, acciona y continúa. Job as a developer, how much did you make? Right out of college, I was working at a company called Axure, and I was offered um, 80k a year. I switched because I realized that I wasn't growing the way I needed to. I wasn't learning new technologies. Yeah, I also do believe that the quickest way to like get those are like such a numbers game that I think you're way better off seeing if you can even just like find someone on LinkedIn and like ask them to just look at your resume. I think that's going to get you way further. This is all amazing. Eso lo tengo yo, tengo dos reseñas de, de LinkedIn y si estás viendo este vídeo, sígueme en LinkedIn, nos apoyamos mutuamente. Amazing advice. Now, how much do you make as developer now? Um, now, I would say... So I'm... Se viene. Se viene. I'm a senior software engineer now at Credit Karma. The total comp, I think, adjusted for like the growth in stock would be um, over 400,000 annually. 
Amazing, dude. Let's go. Amazing. Yeah, let's go yeah. Ha sido una locura de vídeo. Te da pues, una visión muy amplia de todos los salarios que puedes conseguir siendo programador. También no todo el mundo llega a eso. Tienes que currártelo y ser inteligente para obtenerlo. Pero muy, muy guapo el vídeo. Si quieres mejorar como programador, suscríbete a este canal. Subo vídeos muy interesantes, muy útiles que te van a ayudar en tu proceso para convertirte en un programador. Y quién sabe si en un futuro llegar a ganar medio millón de dólares al año. Nos vemos y hasta la próxima.